Hello everyone. This is one Pinoy chick chat. It's kind of a um, sad and happy day for me because my lotti which I had false alarm two weeks ago given birth has given birth today when we came back from town and um, I catch this little one at the <laughs> bottom rear but the other one I was not able to save because it's already not breathing cold and has some deformities it's like it it doesn't look like it has ribs that i cannot understand why it happened it can be caused by two things guys one is the chemicals because they always nick from me and go to the banana farm like the other day oh yesterday yesterday at lunchtime because um i always let i don't tie her up because she's about like i'm expecting her to really give birth anytime so i'm not tying her up anywhere and then she went to this um drain of um i ice banana farm well they're not working on the farm but you know it was put on this and then somebody else is working there and growing the bananas and one banana a reject banana is thrown into the drain and it's um ripe it's it's becoming ripe in that drain and of course the sour smell they can smell my goats can smell from afar so this um mama here went to the drain and yesterday i cannot even beat her <laughs> or like go out from there from the drain because it's like two feet deep and i can't do anything because of her big belly i cannot carry her i cannot push her i cannot beat her like you know like a light beating my love stick like get out from there i i can't uh, second reason is during the cutting of the bamboo my goats went there and this year it's the first time of our jimelina trees to fruit and this jimelina tree they eat so much leave, leaves of that tree the problem is it's the first year of fruiting the fruits fell down and this is kind of toxic fruit like i read somewhere it has like four to five elements that's toxic to goats cows and can cause stillbirth or miscarriages and some deformities so that's the thing i don't know which is the reason if the chemicals from the banana farm or the jimelina tree i'll show you after i feed the runt but i'm still happy i got one here it's very strong it's already um getting milk from the mama and the mama is finished it's a still this after birth there and i given her so many leaves already so she won't need to go out so let's check the jimelina trees at the back this is the Choco area of AI. And this is the area that's on lease. See that grass in this banana farm? It's all filled with chemicals, herbicides. And see, Lotte finished all that for three days because this it's from this tree and she finished all that look at this stalk and the hands that are totally empty so for the last three days i was wondering why she would just um i mean 
two days I catch I caught her here yesterday and the other day with Beshi um, and the uh, previous day I mean like five four five days ago that uh, bunch of banana was still hanging on this tree with a blue bag and then of course that time it was still covered the the whole bunch of banana is still wrapped in that blue bag that's uh, that blue bag is actually treated with chemicals already so it won't uh uh call as protection for from insects and pests but more on insects and also the sunlight so like from among them adult goats she's the only one without uh, a call I a collar from among them adult goats she's the only one not tied up at the moment because we are really expecting her to give birth so like all of them are tied up oh ah that's smelly over there the one that had still birth so that is full of chemicals sometimes i get um bananas like reject bananas from these um banana growers but before i give it to them i pressure wash it to like remove the chemicals but that because that is eaten that was eaten straight from the tree it's still full of chemicals like in packing houses here banana plant ba banana packing houses they wash it with um, um alum for the latex do not stay in the wait guys ants do not stay in the banana peels but that one from the tree is really still covered with those chemicals so she keeps she, she just keeps going there even if like nobody else like she's alone and she's uh, bringing with her this uh, dash and bash so for the two days that I've seen them there oh that's thunder that's good that means rain so I won't water my plants maybe or maybe water them lightly only today this afternoon after I clean the goat house I'm late today <laughs> including my goat uh, apartments because uh, we went to town so I have to catch everything catch up on everything but I'm gonna show you the Jimelina fruits that I was talking about it's in the back area, the banana, uh, the the fruit area, beside or oh, near the avocado trees. Let's go. Look, I have so much to burn today. Like yesterday, I was able to burn at the park near my mother the aguas. <laughs> they wilted. I feel guilty, but. Um, I was able to get rid of a lot of um, dried leaves and dried coconut husk or the coconut husk from harvest from last week's harvest so hopefully today while there's not much um, dried leaves here that can cause um, how you call you know that happened in Amazon in Australia in Africa type of thing like because it's all dry the fire just uh, get onto a lot of um, uh, leaves on the ground and burn everything so like today before the rain or whether it rains or not before even this area is covered with um, dried leaves from summer heat I'm gonna burn this one and so this two mats of bamboo won't grow back 
easy. I have to do it today. Today, guys. So this is the um, um, Jimmy Lina trees we have here. One, this one, one, two, three, four. And some are already cut. Like I, I still have another one here, five, but this uh, has not much leaves and not still not fruiting. And there's another two here, one, two. So this, you can see this has so many leaves and I'm not sure if you can see, but this is fruiting at the moment. And um, this, leaves they eat that like my goats eat and the fruits also they eat and um, so many goat racers have have um, told us before that even with their cows this causes um, this causes poison if the cows buffaloes and goats eat this one they get the toxics from the fruit and they get poisoned and even the leaves has some um, toxic elements and if they are pregnant either they will have miscarriage or they will like give birth to dead babies so i suspect because i've seen them or like i haven't catch them when they run here when the guys were cutting the bamboos last time and that's the second day I think or the third day when the guys are cutting in this back area for the cutting of bamboo my goats came here and second or third day from that time I caught them here Melly had a stillbirth so I have a really big suspicion that that thing happened to them because of this tree apart from the from the stress that Melly got from Beshi because of banana they were fighting over banana and Beshi has such a big head being alpine breed and um like this time with Loti and her dead baby it's a girl her dead baby this is the only thing I can say. Either those chemicals in the banana plantation, because she's such a hard-headed mama. And this um, Jimmy Lina fruits. It's the first time this year that it fruits. So like last in the previous years, I don't have any problem with them eating here. So Papa decided to cut this um, Jimelina trees. Actually, we we he really planned to cut this like uh, two months ago, but the guy who came here, who needs this type of trees to make crates for fruits, for vegetables, you know, from you know, like um, a lot of farmers here grow um, volume of grow a volume of vegetables to send to Manila to the um, north of the Philippines and they need crates for how to ship that and this tree is the wood the, the wood of this tree is uh, used to make crates so and when they came here for all these trees one two three four five six they just uh, give they just give Papa a price for the six trees 1500 like what 1500 it's like it doesn't sound right it's a big tree already over there and uh, yes I understand there will be lab labor cost involved when they make the uh, when they cut it and uh, slice it and uh, make it as crates but i don't know like um maybe may from from what i know those making crates they only get from the furniture shops any excess or like um 
how you call reject cuttings from the furnitures to make crates so for them to like buy this um trees for just that amount it doesn't really the price they offer 1500 is not acceptable for papa and even if i am the one to decide no i would not sell it for 1500 because even if we sell it in the store we have our own chainsaw here and then just dry it and chop it up and dry it we can get more than that more than that guys so oof, i don't know well better luck next i'm gonna be drawing the name on wednesday so i for the dead baby i want to name it angel <laughs> she, <laughs> she's an angel oh poor baby poor what a poor baby she is so like um I still have a reason like to be happy I have one and Lottie is in very good health condition and uh, the problem I have of her being you know the milk is not much I bought her three kilograms of lactating mush today because I was thinking I need to help her with the milk because she has a very big belly and she can she like I was anticipating that uh, she can have triplets but no these are big girls like big girls bigger than uh, the biggest baby of nanny here uh how you call Willie this boy here is so big so her girls Lottie's girls are so big but the problem the problem with the dead one is some deformity so I must say bye for now suggest for the names on the comment section below thanks for watching please like share subscribe and ring the bell for notification Wednesday for the draw see ya bye <laughs> you think I'm a tree? Ay, naku. You think I'm a tree? It's so hot, baby.